Okay. Uh... This place is great. Really comfortable. Rockstar Games presents... I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. A Rockstar Production. Shit. Painkillers, not right. It wasn't doing me any favors. <laughs> Maybe I lost my self respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. My wife and my daughter. Came out before Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, I'll just go hard.
Yeah, free aim. Don't invert. So in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Chapter 1. Something rotten in the air. Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> sure. That's funny. Yeah, it's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. You just got cowboys running security downstairs and something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big gang cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. A tummy tucks and cock implants. Fuck. Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. I guess that's what a European education and a co-capital do Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local businessman built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things. Oh, all right. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his coquette younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Damn. Oh, my God. 
Let's go. Things have gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots in the wheel. Clear. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. Shoot, dodge. Shit. Shit. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, wait. Ah. Oh. Ah. Yep. Uh oh. Wait, take help. boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. Money gets you anything on prescription. And here, there's plenty of that. She was out on one of the balconies. And I hoped, not about to be thrown off it. It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Ha! <laughs> Bam. Tranquila. Tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, I do. The hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Somebody's got to go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Now you. I imagine the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. You did. Wait, I didn't mean to enter bullet time. Come on. Shit. There we go. Dragging Bronco along would slow them down, but not much. Slow down that bullet cam. Bam. You can also still keep shooting him. That's fucked up. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, let me stop. Let me pick up that gun. Looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. 
almost as much as I did. Shit. Uh oh. Almost dead. Bang. Thank goodness for painkillers. Oh shit. Ah, 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 ah. Shit. There we go. Flashing buttons open doors and gates. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Thanks, Max. Search for clues. Famous as well as rich as the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Uh oh. Shit, get up. Ah. Damn. tires wait oh shit ah double the guns I feel like Max, because I have no idea what the hell is being said. Branch of the police, not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff, politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, actually look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. All right, 
right there, Rodrigo. Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R, the only way I knew how. Two. Nothing but the second best. The following Tuesday. A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max! I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm. Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Can someone say buzz you? Hey. I'm just kidding. It is a whole town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetch Week, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Ah, shit. Controller fell asleep. Okay. Damn it! Fuck off the people. Table, nothing but the best. 
Nothing but the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? Oh, I love you, but Claudio would be the best. Claudio? Fucking Claudio. He isn't even any good. If he were, he'd be in Barcelona or Milan. He couldn't even make it in Germany. Now he comes back here and acts like fucking royalty. I'll introduce you. Nah, I need the Caesar. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This guy in the place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking woman from a fucking slum. The act's cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed, and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, dear, people. Fuck, people get me wrong. I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, <laughs> Does everybody just say, my nigga, now? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drill and I would have to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. And now. Damn. Ah, shit. Fuck, there goes Claudio. Back off him, homeboy! Dead. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a stop to it there. Spanish snakes signing out.